a demonstration to show the effects of very low temperature on superconductors. Have you ever flown through the air? You can, if you get on this bullet train. A train like this can travel at a speed of more than 300 kilometers per hour. This video shows a series of electromagnetic system that enables the magnetic levitated train to fly on the ground, similar to the demonstration on superconductor shown later. Look at this special track. Rows of magnets are lined around it. The track is magnetic and can attract iron and steel objects. Let's see how a superconductor can be made to move due to forces generated by this magnetic track. This superconductor here is wrapped in aluminum foil. It does not move easily by itself due to friction between the two surfaces. Let us cool the superconductor and see what happens. We will use liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen has a temperature of 77 Kelvin or minus 196 degree Celsius. The aluminum foil helps to trap liquid nitrogen around the superconductor and keeps the material cool. What will happen when we place the superconductor on the magnetic track? Amazing! The superconductor is able to float above the track. Can you explain why? The superconductor is able to float above the track because the weight of the superconductor is balanced by an upward magnetic force from the magnets on the track. Look what happens when we give the superconductor a little push. Wow, it can fly above the track, just like a bullet train. What will happen if we flipped the magnetic track over? Do you think the superconductor would stay suspended in the air like before? Let's try it. Wow, it is able to float below the track. The weight of the superconductor acting downwards is balanced by an upward magnetic pull from the magnets. That makes it possible for it to stay suspended below the track. Amazing, isn't it?